Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to go through making a custom sky. All we're going to do is just going to alter the existing sky. We're going to make it a nighttime scene with some stars. We're going to put a big planet over here and then we're going to put a moon up here. So to start off with, I'm going to go into a program called Spacescape. It's really great at making custom and amazing skies, especially nighttime skies. And you can find it at SourceForge. Just do a quick Google search for it, it'll take you right to it. I'm just going to go with one of the pre-made skies. And as you can see, we have a nice little Milky Way, got little stars, got a little bit of nebula dust. And if you're going to use a pre-made sky, always check the preview texture size because they will change. Sometimes they'll be 256, some will be 1024. But what I'm doing today, we want a nice big old texture of 4096. I'm just going to export out the skybox to PNGs. And we're going to make it nice and big again. And we're going to tell it's for Unreal 4. Now this program was designed to make skybox textures. We're only going to end up using one of the files because Unreal no longer uses skyboxes. Uh, it's a bit of archaic for what they do. We're just going to save that out. And when they're big like this, it tends to take a little while. And now we're just going to pick our favorite. Unreal only uses one regular texture. So we're just going to find one that we like. That looks cool. I think I'll go with this one and it's front five. So now we want to make this tileable because it's just going to take this one image and it's going to repeat it. So we're going, you can either do it in Photoshop or for me personally, I like using Bitmap to Material. It's made by Algorithmic. They have some awesome stuff. You should go check them out. I'm just going to drag the sky into here. Tell it to go all big. And then I'm going to tell it to make it tile. And what's cool about bitmap is that I can tell it to randomly tile. And I can just move my sliders until I get something I like. Once again, because it's so huge, it'll take a little bit of time to figure out what it's looking at. But for your sky, it's absolutely worth having such a large texture. And we're going to export it out. This one is a Targa. And all we need is the base. And we're going to come into Photoshop and we're going to open it up. And now to get our planet, we're just going to take this guy that I've already made. I combined a couple different planets together to get him. So we're going to take this dude and then smack him into here. Change the size a little bit, maybe rotate it. And we're going to put them in the corner. We're going to do this because it is going to stretch out the square to wrap around the dome. And if we put him anywhere other than a corner, it'll end up stretching out the planet. 
I also have a, our moon texture that we're going to end up putting in there. We're not going to put this one on the sky just because it'll end up distorting it and we'll get this weird shape to it and we don't want that. What I am going to do is toss it into a bitmap and we're going to get a nice little normal map on it. And then we're going to save this one as well. Gonna overwrite it. Yes. Okay. And then we come back to bitmap. Whoops. Find our moon. Drag it in. Ooh. Turn the tile off. Alright, and all we really want is the bump. It doesn't need to be too much, it's going to be far away. So I'm just going to leave it as is. It's output name. Export. You can use whatever you want for your normal map. Like I said, I just enjoy bitmap to material. And then the next thing we're going to do for our moon is we're going to make a sphere. I like to use the Geosphere and Max just because it's a little bit friendlier for the unwrap. We're going to cut this sucker in half. And then we're going to rotate it. I'm going to give it just a planar unwrap. And then in our editor, we're going to relax it a bit. And we're going to want to make sure we keep our boundary points fixed. So start the relax, apply. And we're going to give it a smoothing group. Now we're just going to export them out. Our moon, and let's keep with the Unreal naming convention for static mesh. Save, smoothing groups, okay. Alright, so now we have a sky, we have our moon, we even have a normal map for a moon. In here, I'm going to import everything for the moon, so we need these three. Don't need a collision, it doesn't ha have any materials on it, so we can just ignore those. Make a new material. And we're going to toss these two in there. Missive. Our mask, because we're going to cut off part of it. So there is a alpha on the moon. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. And then our normal. Just make sure we turn this into mask. And then I like to give it a roughness constant. So it doesn't reflect at all. Yeah. And 
and then get into our sky first thing we'll want to do is find our main light source and that'll be whatever just pops up when you open up your level I'm gonna flip the Sun upside down we're gonna click on the sky tell it to refresh and now you can see it's a nice night time next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove colors determined by now that gives us the ability to play around with the colors down here first I'm going to get our custom stars so we want to go into view options show engine content and find our engine sky and then in here I'll import our stars now whenever you do anything in your engine content it will remember those settings every time you open up Unreal so if you want to be able to get back to your basic sky you'll want to double check everything that we do and probably write down the numbers so you can get back to just a regular day blue sky so I'm going to open up our material for the sky and then over here where it says sky colors is where we can find the actual stars that Unreal uses and then we're just going to put our texture in its place save it out and we see nothing haha <laughs> okay so what we're going to do over here is go to star brightness and we're going to boost that puppy up so you can see some of our stars coming through up oh, and over there is our nice big planet kind of looks a little bit pinched so we're just going to come in here and move them down a bit make them big again and then move them down a bit there we go save it back out yes we want to replace it and then come back to unreal and re-import Try that one more time. Takes a little bit of finagling, but once you get it, it'll look awesome. There we go. Now what you'll likely have to do, I think you have asked, is the default settings for your tile will be 12 by 12. And as you see, we have lots of little corners of our planet and we don't want that. And then to keep from stars from stretching, we're gonna do a two by one tile. I have a planet just sitting right there all happy like now let's mess with our sky colors to make it more nighttime so bring that down to almost black our horizon line we want to be pretty much black and then our cloud color if we want it to have a bit of a fantasy world motif I'm gonna make it shade of blue Green in there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and that will happen on your horizon line. So just want to make sure that your sky sphere itself isn't lifted up too far. And that's an easy fix. Kind of tuck them down a little bit. There we 
There we go. Now we don't see that nasty seam. And it's always good to just tell it to refresh material every once in a while. And in here we can change our cloud's opacity so it can be really thick and heavy or make them itty bitty and wispy. But what's most important is that our planet is behind our clouds. Star is even brighter if we wanted to. We boost that up. And now we're going to put our moon in. I'm going to go back to just our content, pull out our dome, black on our moon's material. There you go. Now to get this guy to sit behind, oops, I forgot something. Div. There we go. We're going to have to put a moon outside of our sky sphere, but we're also going to make sure it's big enough that we can see it once it gets outside of our sky. Kind of make a nice big. 5,000. Pull them away. Oh, there's part of them. And then we can just double click on them to see it. Get out of our sky. Oops, wrong one. Pivot is acting a little funny. That's an easy enough fix. We'll just have to re-import it. So we're going to change our pivot. Center to object. And I forgot to center this guy before we exported him. Stay right over it. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Again, here in our moon, we'll just re import. Just get back inside. Find our moon. Whoops. Spin it around until we get it. That nice crescent shape. Alright, and because we can just see his outline, that lets us know it's outside of the sphere. So we're going to go back into our sky because we can't see the moon. Go into our material. Now this, the first time you do it, might crash Unreal. I didn't enjoy it the first couple times I tried this. But we're going to set an opacity. I'm just going to make it 0.5. And then translucent instead of masked. Get out and hope for the best. And there's our moon. There we are, so we have a moon over there, we have a planet over here, our own custom clouds, even change our cloud speed so that they can move faster, our custom sky. Thanks for watching and I hope this really helped you out, have a good day.